A blessed Friday to us and happy fiesta. There is a little word that I actually inserted at the towards the end of the gospel reading when I say gate. Because whenever we read this episode of St. John's Gospel about the vision or the, the, the subject matter that Nathanael was reflecting under the big tree is actually the, a very beautiful and famous title that we always attach to the gates of heaven with the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. In fact, gate, the gates of heaven no, is actually one of the most beautiful titles of the Our Lady of the Blessed Virgin Mary in, the litany of, in, the, in her litany. Now this particular celebration today, a feast, where we celebrate archangels. Now, in the biblical tradition, in other words, there are also other extra-biblical traditions talking about seven archangels, but what, who we are familiar with are actually the three, no? Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. And if you have a Catholic edition of your Bible, you have all these three completely described. But if you cannot find a book, if, you, if your Bible does not contain a book that does not uh, have Raphael in it, dili na kompleto in yung Biblia. No? Because Saint Raphael is mentioned only in one book of the Old Testament, which is in the book of Tobit. Gabriel and Michael, they are practically described uh, almost uh, in passive, no? in actually uh, dis distributed very well. Now the very roles that these archangels play is actually a great manifestation of how God is, in as much as he's transcendent, no? dili siya makabot, dili siya matugkad sa tao, he always is in touch. For example, when we need, when we are in trouble against the evil one, it is always Saint Michael who is on our side. No, we ask for his defense because his name, as we are told in catechesis, means who is like God. No, that Monica Hologan sang ala ni Mikael. In Hebrew, me is who, ka is like, el is God who. So he is like God. Whenever we invoke that name, this is the most powerful defense against the evil one. Now, for those who are feeling sick, no, daghan kayo nga mga gipamatsyag, dili lamang sa lawas o sa espiritu, we have a great archangel to call to because it is through him that God will give us relief or healing or cure. And his name is Raphael. Okay? Rafa in Hebrew means to cure. So El, so God cures. Now for those of us who want to be strengthened precisely because of so many things that happen in our world, with the news and everything that are circulating, sometimes bad news, no? uh, uh, oftentimes also good news, we have a very beautiful defender in the person of the archangel Gabriel. Geber El. Literally, the man of God. But he is the one sent to strengthen those who receive messages. So if you are being kanang nakai problema sa mga marites karon, pray to Saint Gabriel. Ngayon, inaot unta ang balita ng imong madungog tinood. So, Saint Gabriel is the the archangel against the Marites in our world today. In as much as Michael is against Satan and the evil one and his minions, Raphael is against sickness, Gabriel is for good news and against the Marites in our world today. And with all these three functions, we cannot just say that it's enough that God is present among us because we are also given guardian angels. In other words, God does not let us alone. He always is among us, with us, walking, living, defending, protecting, and guiding us, and most of all, loving us. And so in this feast of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, let us profusely thank the Lord for this very beautiful connection that he has with us, and forever we remain grateful. Amen.